Hi, and welcome to Nuxtux Creative Studio. My name is Jonathan, and in this video, I'll be showing you how you can easily add overlays to your footage. For this effect, I'll use an overlay and masking. I'll start by adding the clips to the timeline. Here is the dust I'm working with. I'll temporarily disable the top track and look for the moment when the subject is about to hit the ground. Enable the top track and align it to that moment. I can jump to the end of our first clip. With the top clip selected, I'll press the close parentheses to trim it to our cursor. Jump back. I'll click on the purple dot in the bottom left corner of the top clip to add a transition. The transition will match the overlapping areas of our two clips. Up in the effects and composition stack, I'll switch from wipe to composite and transform and set the compositing to screen. Now you could go in composition, search for screen and drag it onto the timeline. But screen has fewer options than composite and transform. Not to mention that you can change composition layers to anything you want after adding them to the timeline. I won't use the composite layer to move the dust. Instead, with the top clip selected, I'll start by adding a horizontal flip effect. I'll then add a transform effect and use it to reposition the dust and place it where the subject hits the ground. I'll select both the dust clip and the composite layer, move one frame forward, and trim the start using the open parentheses, since I don't need the first frame of the dust. Next, I'll add a rotoscoping effect and use it to create a mask around the dust to control the spread and remove the harsh dust lines on the sides. I'll add some feathering to it. Then I'll scrub to the clip, adding keyframes and growing the mask as needed. We can always go back and make adjustments. Next, I'll add a lift gamma gain to adjust the values and colors of the dust to match the environment. If we look closely, we can see actual dust come up after the subject hits the ground. We can use that to better match the colors and values. I'll add a curves effect, set the channel to alpha and use it to increase the opacity of the dust. Finally, I'll tweak everything and then add a fade out by clicking and dragging the red dot in the upper right corner of the dust clip. And this is what we have now. Moving on to the next effect where I'll be adding some fog to our scene. For this effect, I'll only be using an overlay. I'll start by adding the clips to the timeline. I created a zone for this clip since the first frame is a black solid. By clicking on the film icon, I can import just the video. Next, I'll add our fog overlay. I'll scrub through the clip to find an interesting segment, trim out the part that I want, and match the length of the first clip. I'll click on the purple dot in the bottom left corner of the top clip to add a transition. And the effect in composition stack, I'll switch from wipe to composite and transform and I'll set the compositing to screen. Then with the fog clip selected, I'll add a transform effect to it, zoom in to 110%. I'll zoom out in the clip monitor so we can see the edges of the transform clip. On the first keyframe, I'll align right. Then I'll jump to the end, add a keyframe and align left. This should help match our fog to the motion of the camera. I'll then select the first clip and add a couple effects to set the mood. I'll add a saturation effect, a Bezier Curves, a Lift Gamma Gain, and finally another Bezier Curves. I'll lower the saturation, switch the Bezier Curves channel to Luma, and darken the highlights. I'll use the Lift Gamma Gain to adjust the values and add a greenish blue atmosphere to the scene. Now I'll disable the fog track to see what we're really working with. I'll make a few more adjustments before I address the fog clip. Next, I'll enable the fog clip and add a few effects to it, starting with exposure. Then I'll add a lift gamma gain, adjust the values and add a slight tint to the fog. We can add a transparency effect if we like to lower the opacity of our clip. And with enough tweaking, we'll end up with a very different looking scene. This is what we started with and this is what we have now. All right, and that's it for this video. If you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, there is a thumbs down option, but who clicks on that? Seriously though, if you have any questions, doubt, or suggestions, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you. This is Nuxtux Creative Studio. My name is Jonathan and I'll see you next time.